Hey everybody, y'all wanted wild hog recipes? Well, here you go. Today we're gonna make wild pork summer sauce. You remember those pigs we caught in the trap? Well, today is the special day we get to process them. So it was late evening by the time that the wild pork summer sausage was done. We immediately put it in an ice water bath. You leave it in the ice water bath for 30 minutes. So here we are with the finished product. Get you some crackers. So you cut your cheese, not literally cut the cheese. Put it on there and you have your meat. This is better than a kid's Lunchable. Follow along step by step. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Don't sleep on this recipe. Y'all check it out. The first step is you have to put your casings in water. 45 minutes to an hour, let it soak. Doesn't matter what size you get. We like the extra long ones, the bigger ones, because you get more summer sausage. We also cut it in half when we put it on a cracker. It's the size of a pepperoni or a salami. You decide what you want. I'm gonna load up this container and put it in some water. All right guys, now it's time to set up the grinder. When you're setting up your grinder, make sure you lube up your grinder plate and the blade. Step two is put the grinder together. Oil my plate and my blade. And of course, for the first grind, you always do the coarse grind. Step three, grind the meat. Hold on. All right, go ahead. Step three, we're we doing, we counting? No, I'm just saying. Okay, we didn't count one and two. Yeah, I did. Three special steps. That's how you do. Three. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> Let's see how that audio works on that. It's not a camera. <laughs> Let's see how that audio works. It's not a camera. Those are for member. It's only videos. Priceless. <laughs> Priceless. What I'm going to do a membership that's going to be members only. Members only. Uncut. Patula. Patula's in the house. Woo. We got all these lights, boy. Y'all ain't got to buy that shit. <laughs> Freaking YouTube gave me that, man. Y'all like that? <laughs> <laughs> hey dude, I'm serious. You do a members oh cut gosh. and then you get all the back rows and shit. Uncut. Look at the shit we got in this house. And we got a gimbal. Get the yeah. gimbal on the camcorder, yeah. ball. Oh, get y'all one. Like shit. Pooty. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's go look at this. I didn't ever show the eagle buck yet. Maybe my members could see. The blue light back there with a bunch of clutter. I know I know they were looking at it on the video. Patsula brought us some of the wild pork meat he got from the traps from that last video. Now we gotta go ahead and grind it. He weighed it out in six pound packs. All right, we have two pounds of bacon. I gotta grind that. We have 10 pounds of fatty beef meat. And we have 12 pounds of wild pork meat. So now, we have to grind the bacon. So this is the 10 pounds, 73, 27 beef roll. So that means it's very fatty. So now I'm gonna separate it into five pounds and put it in the batches. The meat has been divided in each container. Mitch went and divided the seasoning into two because it's for 25 pounds, but my mixer doesn't hold 25 pounds. Now, we put it in there, and now we mix. Make sure you spread it out evenly. When you think you mixed enough, mix more. I'm gonna finish mixing. I'm not gonna bore you with that. Everybody knows how to mix. So once it's all mixed, you let it marinate overnight or even the day after, you can put it in the casing. And then after that, you put it in the smoker. Hey guys, we're back with day two. Today, we're gonna do the final find grind. Remember, on the first grind, you do the course plate. 
Today it's gonna be the fine plate. Don't worry guys, I already oiled up my plate and my blade. We're gonna grind it and once it's ground, we're gonna put it in the sausage stuffer and put it in the casings. You wanna put the camera down and help me? All right guys, I grabbed all the wild pork meat out of the ice box. So here we go, we're gonna grind it now. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button also. And now comes the noisy part. After I grind these two trays of meat, I'll show you the next step. I've got 25 pounds of meat, 12 pounds of wild pork meat, 10 pounds of beef meat, and two pounds of bacon. Like I said before, we have to split it up into 12 pounds. Our mixer is a 10, 12 pound mixer. This is our mixer that we use. I'm not gonna tell you where we got it from, but I have four cups of water, three ounces of binder, about 14 grams of pink curing salt. The next step is to mix all this together. We're gonna mix the water in, the binder. Make sure you get it all out paint curing salt, and we mix. I'm doing the initial mix in this container, and I'm gonna do the mixer next for the protein extraction. I know it's a lot of ingredients and measurements, but if you look in the description, everything you need will be there. Don't forget to marinate it overnight. It's a very important step. The binder, you can look in the description, or you could use a milk powder product. Now we put it in the mixer, We got it down to a science. You do 20 cranks one way, 20 cranks the other way. You do about 80 to 100 cranks. Let's get cranking. Now that it's been mixed real good, we have to put it in the stuffer. So now you unload it from the mixer and you put it in the stuffer. When you're putting it in the stuffer, make sure you push it all the way down to where there's no air bubbles. You don't want any air bubbles because whenever it comes out the stuffer, you're gonna have an air bubble in your casing. I took it out the water that it was soaking in. I let it drip dry. Hang it down like this, let the water come out that's inside of it from there. You're gonna make sure that the meat is out of the tube because you don't want any air in it. So you put the casing on. Make sure you have a tight grip on it because you don't want it to fall off. So this is the length we like it. So now squeeze it and twist where it's tight. This is my perfect size. We use butcher's twine. We have the hog ring, but I choose not to use it because everybody has butcher twine in their kitchen. And you're gonna double twist it around it. And of course, keep pressure on it still. And then from there, you tie it real tight. And that's it. We got 10 logs with 25 pounds of meat, the 51 inch length and 68 diameter. We use a Pit Boss smoker. You can hang them on dial rods or you can lay them flat on the racks. We choose to hang them on dial rods. We're gonna put it on the lowest setting for about an hour, hour and a half to dry it out. And after that, you're gonna bump it up to the next setting. Now let's go outside and put it on the Pit Boss. We're gonna line them up on the rod and put them in there. We got the first ones. Let's get started on the second ones. Now that we're loaded, we're gonna close it and put it on the smoke setting for an hour to an hour and a half. 
We're at 175 degree temp. We're gonna open it up and make sure it has enough water in there and we're gonna probe it to see what the internal temp is. Oh, it still has enough water. When you probe it, don't go straight in like this. You're gonna wanna go in at an angle like this. And that's it. Close this baby back up. So it was late evening by the time that the wild pork summer sausage was done. We couldn't film it in the dark. From the beginning, we put it in the smoker, we put it on smoke for an hour and a half. Once you put it in there for an hour and a half on smoke, you bump it up to 150. You leave it on 150 for another hour and a half. At that point, you put water in the water pans in the smoker because the smoker loves water. We bumped it up to 175. I probed it. The probe read 116 degrees. It smoked on there for a while until the internal temp was 160 degrees. We took it out of the smoker at 160 degrees. We immediately put it in an ice water bath in an ice chest. You leave it in the ice water bath for 30 minutes. You take it directly out the ice water bath, put it in a pan, and put it in the ice box to dry. If you don't want to put it in your ice box to dry, you can put it in front of a fan in a pan and let it dry from there. So here we are today with the finished product. So we like to eat ours with crackers and cheese. It's like an adult Lunchable. Who doesn't like a Lunchable, right? Y'all check it out. Get you some crackers. So you cut your cheese, not literally cut the cheese. Put it on there and you have your meat. So here we are with my favorite part. We get to sample. <laughs> this is better than a kid's Lunchable. Don't give it to your kids. They won't like it. It's not the cheap stuff. This is the good stuff. Y'all go ahead and try this recipe. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Go back and watch it step by step if you have to. One more thing, click on this link right here and watch the next video.